Hello, my name is Dr. Dahl, and on Fridays I do the show called Dream Talk. Dream Talk is a show where I share with you the dreams that I have and show you how I decipher the dream message or dream language that's within it. Uh, so today I want to share with you a dream I had recently, and it's uh, not unlike another dream I've had before having to do with psychedelics, specifically psilocybin mushrooms. I wrote the dream down in my dream book. This is my... Ah. This is my dream book here that I keep my um, or dream notebook that I keep my dreams in. I'm gonna have to buy a new one because it's getting kind of raggedy and I'm running out of paper. But um, I'm not gonna read the dream to you. I'm just gonna talk to you about it because <laughs> when I write down my dreams in my dream journal, it can be a little scattered. So basically, the dream was about is that I was in a restaurant. I was offered a uh, psilocybin mushroom. I was hesitant, but I just told the person I could only eat a little bit of it. So I chewed on a little bit of it, and I felt like I had the experience of what it would be like to have uh, psilocybin mushrooms in my system. Um, what did I feel? I felt kind of just more lucid than usual in dreams. Um, I was having a hard time with hearing people, like my the sound, my hearing was muted. Um, it was... Uh, I wouldn't say bizarre, it was just um, not what I would expect. I've had a dream about taking psilocybin mushrooms before, but it was a much different experience. What I've heard from a lot of people is that it's a different experience every time for some people. So I wanted to share with you this herb, and it's called mugwort, and I recently bought it from a uh, health food store here in California. Um, you can find herbs online, too. But I, I bought mugwort because I heard about its properties and what it does for the dream world. That it can be used the same way as, say, Moldavite uh, can be used as far as helping to uh, guide your dreams, lucid dreams, dreams where you have more control over and not just uh, someone just kicking it and being a victim <laughs> within the dream. <coughs> so this is mugwort here. It's raining out here, so you probably can't really see it well. It's really soft, really soft herb. Um, um, distinctive, uh, distinctive uh, smell to it. I read about it and that you can also use it, uh, say, in uh, spells. People that are witches that perform magic, they use it in spells sometimes. Um, it connects you with um, more of a spiritual realm. That's what I've read as well. <laughs> And I've always wanted to buy it, but I never did, and I finally made it down to the um, health food store to get it. And you can also grow it, um, and it grows in profusion. And it's supposed to be good if you mix it with honey. You can use it on acne, um, on insect bites, like mosquito bites, with a paste. I think it was honey. Was it vinegar? I think it may mean honey and vinegar. And you could put it on your bites and your, on your acne and everything. You can look it up online, too. But mugwort, if you make a pillow out of make a pillow and put mugwort inside the pillow. It's supposed to be good for dreaming. And you could just put it, you know, inside of your pillow, underneath your pillow, whatever you choose. That dream to me um, made me see that I'm really open to learning more about the plant life and what it does when people ingest these plants and these mushrooms, these fungi. Um, I believe these plants were put on this earth for us, humans. And now it's just pretty much a... Um, we have to search for the right ones that aren't poisonous and toxic for us. So I advise you to, you know, explore these herbs, but be careful and cautious and really read up about them before you uh, harvest them and use them. Uh, that dream to me just, yeah, it just makes me feel like I just want to explore more, yet I want to educate myself before I just dive right in to something as serious as psilocybin mushrooms. So. <laughs> If you guys are interested in this topic, please leave your comments in the in the comment section below. <laughs> leave your questions in the uh, in there too, and I can make a show out of it. Because um, I feel like dreams are important, and people just don't. I think people are starting to realize that more and more because more people are having more intense dreams and recalling their dreams. So yes, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel, and thank you for the likes and sharing this with your friends and family. And yeah, thank you for your kind comments. I really appreciate them. Um, yeah, it's raining out here. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of the rain. 
through my <laughs> through my trusty rosemary bush here. Yeah, it's coming down out here. A lot of people seem to think that California gets doesn't get a lot of rain, but we do get rain. When we get it, we get it. <laughs> so everything's green out here. Let's see, and then there's a huge, uh, <laughs> the huge palm tree there, typical of California. So, <laughs> so yeah, everybody get out there, get outside. See, I go outside every day, whether it's raining. Get outside, enjoy Mother Earth. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.